Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Billy Hatcher and the Giant Take Any% Percent tutorial. This video will be covering Blizzard Castle, Blizzard Castle Mission 1, which is the Gold Egg mission where we're saving Elder Pony. Uh, this level's pretty straightforward, uh, shouldn't take too long to make a tutorial on. So let's get right into the rundown of this level before I then explain it, as I normally do, and then some backup strats, if there are any. So. Yeah, I, I really enjoy this level. It's probably one of my favourite gold egg levels. This, the latter half kind of sucks, but the, the, the first half's pretty cool. There's some, there's some cool movement you can do here. And this level starts right off with a nice trick. Uh, this is really easy to do, so I'll be explaining that. Also, that's an IDU. Uh, that's really cool. That's really hard to get, so... I guess try, try and get up where I got there just to get that IDU. Um, I won't be talking about it much in the tutorial because it's kind of lame champ. Uh, yep, yeah. grab the gold egg, you wanna dash jump down this slide, and you wanna grab this strawberry, and this cherry. Grab these three apples, and yum 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 yum, and then you can do something Monka-esque like this. Which I will explain how to do, but I don't implore the people who are learning this game to do, because it is pretty, pretty scary. But with Outer Pony hatched, Poggers, um, we can then get our emblem after we do this. Boring cutscene. Make sure to always stay on the side of the outer it's facing to reduce any turnaround and, you know, save some time. Grab this emblem, and that's a nice 38 second Blizzard Castle Mission 1, uh, which I think any of you can get. So let's talk about the level, let's break it down. It's a pretty simple level. Um, the first thing that we're going to talk about is that first jump we did. Uh, what I like to do to set this up is, after this hope box, I like to walk towards the egg and hold right to turn the camera like so. Um, still holding right at this point, we're going to then turn around, and as you can see, the camera is now nice and set up for us to see where the tree is. Cool. So yeah, just approach, turn around, as you see. Nice and easy. So, there's two ways to do this bounce. Um, both as good as one another, I would say the, the one that I showed off is the best, but you might prefer the, the other one I've off. Let's just show off the one we did first, that's pretty simple. This is called the two tree strat. Uh, basically we're going to dash jump into this tree in front of us right now. And as we hit, uh, we're going to hold into the tree as we get close to it. And then as soon as we hit the tree, we're going to hold into the tree to the left of it over there, that lighted tree. And then once we hit that tree, we're then going to hold down towards that bottom platform. It should look like this. So bump, bump. Nice and easy. That's the double tree strap. Now let me just show off the single tree strap pretty simply. Cool. So if you just grab the egg. I believe what you do here is uh, you want to dash jump as close to the edge as possible for this one because you need as much height as you can. Uh, you want to hit that tree to the right again. And as you hit it on the left, you kind of want to hold upright as you to wrap around it. And it should look like this. I would say double tree is the easier one to do because like, for example, let me try doing this. Yeah, it's much easier to like miss. Whilst if I did jump like that with double tree, what you do find is that that would still work a-okay. Like so. Double tree feels a lot safer to do and I think it's a little bit faster as well, but I might be incorrect there. As for like what I did in that example where I got up here uh, without any get up, that's called an IGU. Um, all you need to know about IGUs are that if you hit sort of like the bottom of these slope surfaces, uh, you essentially can get no recovery frames. This one is a bit special though. One, it's like very hard to see the line because the um, how well the textures blend in. You can kind of see the seam there. If you can't see it, don't worry about it. Um, so yeah, so like a frame path, you have to try and like land on it without being able to see it very well. And I also think the angle matters. If you don't get the right angle of approach, you don't get the IG. Uh, it's very difficult to get. I just sometimes get it by luck. So let's talk about what you do next. So now that we've done the one tree, two tree strat, um, we're now gonna explain the fire hoop strat. This is a very small time save, by the way. It's like two seconds and it's quite difficult. It's either a one, three or a four frame window. Um, 
I'm not 100% certain on what the frame window is. I've heard four, and I've heard it's either one or three. So, um, so it's up to you whether you want to go for this trick. Um, because there is a safer strat that I will explain later in the video. Which, if you don't want to go for that, that's absolutely fine. So, let's just talk about this strat. So, what do you do? You're basically going to bounce into this hoop. And, as you can see, if you try to get into that hoop, you just get whammy by the fire. Now, if you jump to that hoop, and then within one or three frames, maybe four, let's just say one, three or four frames, uh, you have to get out of this hoop. And, you know, it, it's kind of like, it's kind of scary, you think scary jump, uh, but it's not bad. Usually what I do is I line up very close to the, the, the hoop like this, and then I immediately roll to the right and immediately jump, and it looks like this. And it's not that bad if you do it like that, I find. Uh, that's one way of doing it. Um, another way you can do it is if you sort of egg bounce on top, and the moment you get into the hoop, you bounce. It's um, that's a good way of doing it. Um, if you do fail it, let's say that fails it, you'll see the hoop bouncing up and down, and that will mess up the timing a little bit. It'll make it a bit more difficult. So usually, I wait for the hoop to stop moving altogether. Uh, it was still moving now. I could actually see it moving. Um, if you need an egg, there's a clip and egg here. Perfect. There's also a cypher egg over here, but I think the clip and egg is easier to get. So now let's talk about what happens after that. Um, basically going to get into that hoop that's up there from this hoop. So we're going to do like a full hop out of this hoop and roll into the next hoop so it should look like this. And then we're going to roll into this hoop here. And then we're going to just immediately press A out of this hoop by mashing A. Cool, let's talk about the enemies, it's pretty simple. Cool, so this section has two sets of enemies, and two, two sets of three enemies in a triangle formation. We're going to kill the enemies on the left first, and then we're just going to kill the stragglers on the right. The, the ones on the right usually separate, which is makes us a little bit RNG, but it's not that bad. Uh, the ones on the left are very consistent if we just kill through them like so. Cool, and then we'll just turn the camera, find out where the rest of them are, and then kill them. You want to come to this side of the cage, so you're basically facing the slide as you grab this egg. Cool. So now let's talk about the slide. Okay, so um, once you've got through this text box, we're going to dash jump down the slide. We're not going to dash down the slide because if we dash down the slide, two things can happen sometimes, which is um, the egg just goes down without you, or you go down the slide and you just lose control and you don't know which direction you're going. It's very weird. Dash jumping is a very consistent way of going down the slide, so I just recommend doing that. We're going to grab enough fruit on this slide to max out our egg without having to kill any enemies whatsoever. And this is how you would do so. So we're going to dash jump and we're going to pick up these three cherries and jump down the middle of these X's. We're then going to turn and grab the strawberry and the cherry, which will be to our left, on this left route I should say. Like so, one, two. And we want to land on this side. Try to stay more to the left is for better lines of course, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Um, if you're learning, of course. And then you also want to pick up these three apples and jump on this X. Now, I'm not going to show off the strat that I did in the, sh um, the example right now, because that is quite a difficult strat. Well, it's not difficult, but uh, it's, it looks very risky, and honestly, I'm just used to it to the point where I don't mess it up. But, you know, you might not understand it as well as I do and mess it up, so let's... Let's do, let's do the safe strat first. So you want to roll into these cherries and this, the pineapple, and then there'll be a pineapple and a banana in there. And you just want to come around this side of the chick and then jump roughly here and hatch, staying on this side of the egg. And then basically you're just going to be talking to the elder, grabbing the emblem. Um, we'll just show it off anyway. As you can see, that keeps you far away from the penguins and is still relatively fast. Um, so that's, that's pretty epic. Cool, so the fire hoop strat, yeah, it's pretty scary, it's not, it's not the most friendly tech, it's pretty easy, it's, you know, but it's also, it's easy to perform as it is to mess up, so if you don't want to do that, you want to just dash cancel button, slide, dash up, and you just want to egg bounce up on here, it's two seconds slower than fire hoop, but it's still, it's two seconds, it's not a big deal. Cool, so let's talk about the slide, um, a bit more, let's show off, basically, some stuff you need to know. Uh, controlling the slide is very difficult. Um, I don't really have any advice for navigating the slide, that's just something you have to get used to. But there is like a backup in case you miss that strawberry that's on the second part of the slide. You can grab that watermelon to account for it. 
Also, there's me saying don't dash down there, and then I'm dashing down it. Just ignore me. So, say if you miss the strawberry, but grab the cherry, you can then just grab this watermelon. I usually like to approach the watermelon from the right, um, as opposed to the left, just because it feels like you grab it more consistently. Um, so, yeah, that's the um, backup strat in case you do miss the strawberry. Um, you can just grab that watermelon, which is pretty handy. Cool, so yeah, you can actually uh, max out your egg if you go down the right of the slide. If you grab all these cherries here, and then you just need to grab all these watermelons. All these cherries, and then grab this watermelon here. And that's basically the same as doing um, what I did in the previous, um, on the previous side. In fact, it might be a bit more for it actually, but it's, uh, it's essentially the same. Um, you, you grow, you max out the egg basically at the same point, but it's a little bit slower because the line's not as good, you're going a bit further out of your way to grab fruit. Uh, but, you know, if you find that easier than doing the left and just like doing your first couple rounds, then go for it. But I would recommend learning to go down the left. So let's talk about that strap that I was talking about in the example that didn't show off in the explanation because I thought it was a bit scary for first time rounds to go for. So. When we get to the bottom of the slide, we're going to grab these fruit in here. And then we're going to dash that next snowman. And as we get to that snowman, we're going to then turn around, like do a complete U-turn whilst walking. So like make sure you dash cancel if you need to. Do that U-turn. And then we're going to jump over the penguins, which are then going to bonk into each other, uh, moving themselves away from your egg, which allows you to do a nice safe hatch. So it should look like this. As you see, they bonk. And... By that time, we've hatched, the, the egg has iframes and the penguin just goes right through it. It's a bit scary to go for, but it is a nice cool strat. Um, and I think it saves a little bit of time as well. Uh, I think I have one final point to go through, um, so let's do that now. Okay, so if you are to, by enchant, you know, miss fruit, then you will have to kill the penguins. Which is a bit scary. Let's say, oh yeah, I did that. Oh, I... Didn't actually mean to do that. Okay, let's say that's what we have. That's what happened to us. We're gonna pick up this fruit, and yeah. So you either like the safe way to do is wait for the spin outs, then kill them both, and then do that. But it's pretty slow. It's not. It's not the best. Um, as you can see, just two fruits will max that out. But let's talk about what would happen. Let's talk about what I like to do sometimes, because like at this point, I'm already annoyed that I've missed fruit, and so I go for something that will either kill my run or not. But I wouldn't really recommend this if you're learning. And it will look something like this. Okay, this is pretty rough. But yeah, I'm gonna do a full hop, dunk this penguin, kill him. And then you can like full hop, dunk the penguin if you want to too. But I feel like just the one's fine. And yeah, if you grab the apples and then that pineapple, you can max it out that way. Uh, up to you how you do it. And I think that's the final point. So I'm actually going to end it on a, like, a nice little bonus thing that doesn't actually add anything to the run, but I think you, you guys might like this. So give me two seconds and I'll get that one set up. Cool. So, here's something cool. It's pretty useless tech, but it, it's pretty cool. Um, <coughs> I won't explain what happens here. Um, we'll, we'll finish the video up on it. So, we're going to line up like so on this slide. And we're just going to hold forward and slide off like so. Um, so now I'm actually just going to conclude this video here. So um, so I've been Chiron. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to talk to speedrunners of this game or learn more, join the Discord. Discord link will be in the description. Um, but if that doesn't work, then speedrun.com forward slash bh as a place to go get that link if that didn't work for some reason. Um, follow me on Twitch because I am trying to grow my Twitch channel out. Um, I will be doing 80% board record attempts and just other really dumb challenge runs that I've been doing. Okay, yeah, so with that, let's end the video with showing what actually happens when you get stuck in this wall. If I hold right, it's basically infinite speed. I hope that's, I hope that's cool enough for you guys. I hope that lets me into your cool guide club. So. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video, peace.